What is going on everyone? Today we're going to make smash burger tacos. Now smash burger tacos are a trend that went viral lately on TikTok, Instagram and all those good social platforms and I honestly dismissed it at the start. I was like, it's another trend, you know, it's like these white people making their mac and cheese with all this kind of weird stuff. I dismissed it completely until I decided, you know what, I'm going to try it. So I tried it and it was legit. So I made a video on it. That's got half a million views on TikTok and Instagram some amount and yeah. People liked it, people recreated it, they loved it, so I'm gonna show you how to make it. So for today's ingredients, we got our condiments, which are here. We're gonna make a Big Mac sauce. Um, we've got pickles, onion, lettuce. We've got our flour tortillas. I was gonna use corn, but corn tortillas don't really come nice from the supermarket. Um, they're only usually good when they're homemade, so we're gonna stick with corn for today. We've got three beef patties and our American cheese. Usually I use a better brand than this, but this was all I could find in the supermarket, so we're gonna run with this one. And so if you've got the overall theme of today, it's Big Mac smash burger tacos. And why Big Mac smash burger tacos? You've got all the ingredients that make a burger great, which is onions, pickles, lettuce. You've got the crispiness there, the texture and the acidity from the pickles. Big Mac sauce, which is pretty much the best on any burger. And then you've got the taco. It's pretty much a burger in a taco wrap, which I don't know. It still tastes good, so let's go with it. And because my mum is always sick of me making all these batches of sauces and leaving them in the fridge for no one to eat, we're gonna go with a smaller and reduced portion, so that's why we've got this smaller bowl today. So as always, if you paid attention to the channel, I'm gonna eyeball this, so, nice. We're off to a very good start. I'm gonna go in with, let's say, uh, A half cup of mayo. And I'm not sure why this has never happened to me before. But in the past probably three videos that I've made using mayo, I've dropped it all over my hands and the table. I'm not sure why. Let's try that again. A half cup of mayo, a tablespoon tomato sauce, the equivalent in mustard. Every time I get mustard water. Now, gherkin radish is a very good ingredient for burger sauces. It's a bit sweet, which is a nice compliment. And it's also got pretty much pickles already chopped up, so you don't have to waste your time trying to dice them perfectly to a nice consistency. Yeah. So we're actually gonna measure this. So two half heaped tablespoons, so a tablespoon and a half. Oh. We're filming a bit earlier today, so I think I haven't really worked on up yet. White vinegar, I think it was a teaspoon. And if I ever explain why I like to just eyeball things, it's more fun, you know? You're winging it, you feel like you're ratatouille, like just mixing it up and getting it right along the way. That's obviously given that you get it right. And then we've got garlic powder, onion powder, and ground paprika. Right, we mix this up. One of the signs that you're getting the recipe pretty close is just the color. So I think this color is pretty much identical to Big Mac sauce. Yellowy with a hint of orange, but not too yellow. Um, consistency, you want it like this. Big Mac sauce is a bit runnier, and that obviously comes from the vinegar that we just put in and the gherkins. Now, the taste. That's yeah, spot on. And there you go. Beautiful. Now today, the, the chopping board is joined by a new friend, Mr. Non-Slip. Yeah, usually I use paper towel and stuff, but it was a bit wasteful, you know, we're looking out for the environment, so we got this reusable and it's not going anywhere. So now, because we're gonna have tacos that are fairly small, what we want is the onion to be diced as finely as possible. Ah, this one. But it's not overwhelming when you bite into it. Besides the spilt mayo, I feel like I'm really on point today. I don't want to jinx it, but things are working out. So, nice. Now for the lettuce, it's going to be very thin strips because lettuce doesn't give any flavor. It's only there for texture. Now the final component is our pickles. I'm just going to give them a light chop in half. Let's hope this works out. Oh yeah. 
too. You know that? Here's our tray of processed veggies for our smash burger tacos. So now the way we cook these smash burger tacos is that we take our meat patty, we put it on the grill, we take our tortilla and smash it on top so that we're relying on the patty being thin enough to cook the whole way through while allowing the juices of the patty to marry with the tortilla, if you know what I mean. I'll show you. The number one sign that we're ready to smash is that the pan is now smoking hot. I think I let this get it. I think I let this. I think I let this. I think I I think I let this get a bit too hot though. So as always, if you're new to the channel, we're smashing on a cast iron skillet. Non-stick is your enemy when you're trying to smash smash burgers. Why? Because smash burgers rely on the patty and the meat binding to the surface and allowing it to develop a nice crust. When you're smashing on non-stick, there's no binding there. It's just floating on top of it. So you're not gonna get that nice even distribution of cooking surface heat temperature. It's still smoking though, so it should be fine. Good sizzle. Let's put it back on low. Then give it a light sprinkle of salt. Tortilla on top. Light press with your hand so that it flattens a bit. And then smash with your smasher. And there's no problem of the meat sticking to the smasher, obviously, because you've got the patty for the tortilla there. If you don't have a smasher, you can use the bottom of a pan. I've seen people use plates. Um, just anything with like a, a wide enough surface. I do sell these on my shop though, but yeah, if you don't want to buy one, which is fair enough, I'll see how it is. I'm giving you this free value, you don't want to buy one. No, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, just use something flat enough. So plates, dishes, cups, yeah. So now I've actually turned off my heat before I'm gonna flip, because after we flip, we're gonna put the tortilla on the bottom and we don't want that to burn while the patty finishes off. However, I just noticed this observation now. I think the reason why the underside cooks well despite not touching the grill is that, see how that's popping up? That's steam. So the tortilla creates this blanket where the steam ends up cooking the meat. I think this is the first time anyone's ever mentioned that out of all these social media videos, so smash king. Once it's completely loose, now to loose, then I flip. Oh, beautiful. That is probably perfect. Okay, and so here is our smash burger taco, but obviously we've got to layer it up, sauce it up, make it look good. So, we're gonna go in with some onions, some shredded lettuce, and we're gonna to top off with probably three halves of our pickle. Now I've done something different today. Watch this. Not even the videographer knows what's gonna go on. If I can successfully spoon this into this, we're gonna get like that nice sauce effect, if you know what I mean. Juice, that's a little. So he knows what's going on. Oh, come on. I think it's gonna take forever, but if I can't do that. Six hours later. Okay. Ready for this? That still looks pretty good. I'll take that. And there's our smash burger taco. Yeah, so now we've still got two more to make, so cue the montage.
Now here we are, montage is finished and we've ended up with three smash burger tacos. They look delicious, I'm starving, so I'm gonna dig into them. Obviously tell you that they're good because I already know that they are. Now these do tend to get a bit messy when you eat it, like everything falling out the other side, but that's how you know the food is good when you're enjoying it properly. Perfect. Mm. The sauce on Pickles, lettuce, and onion doing their job. Juicy meat patty, perfectly salted. And what I like about this is that with a burger, typically the bun can be a bit overpowering, but it's just thin enough where you're getting that softiness of it, that's the word. And you're still allowing the other, ing other ingredients to shine through. I think this is a big win. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I've really enjoyed these and I actually hope that you do too because they're awesome, they're easy to make and they're just delicious. So um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know if you want to see me make anything in particular next in the comments and I hope to see you next time.